when we wake up, we wake up in the labor room. We actually come to, we wake up in the labor room. Yes. And the doctor, the doctor did a slap my face and I said, wake up, Miss Fowler, wake up. And I say slap my face, man. I say slap my face. <laughs> you know? I say, I say, I say slap my face. Don't eat, leave that way. Shanet want to talk about, you know, being in labor. Yeah. Labor Girl. and delivery, actually. Yeah, labor and delivery, actually, you know. Yeah, so I guess she want to share her story about that, you know, because when she was telling me about it, Jano, you know. So it's all up to Shanet now. Yeah, guys. Another story time, yeah. Actually, what I went through during during labor is nothing normal, but I'm not here to share my story to make anybody out there be afraid who want to get pregnant, afraid, or who actually pregnant now for the first time, actually be afraid. <laughs> it's just to show you my road and what me been through. Actually, I have three kids now and. The last one, then it's the last picnic kill mama. <laughs> reality. <laughs> well, yeah, I'm on reality. Coming back from when we start feeling pain, we actually was, we did actually do the 6th of January, but I started having contraction like the, um, the 21st of December, 25th of December on Christmas Day. For Christmas dinner during the little contraction thing, the man so. But then, no, no, still yet. I'm just a go and bite and blow. So then, come, we just inhale and exhale and make them wear off. Yeah, my head that will bite and blow, you know. <laughs> Talk your story. Anyhow, we start from the 25th of December, like me say. And they lead up, lead up to the 31st when the actual pain really licked me. I don't mean never really want to have a baby in a 2020. Every day I pray, every pain I feel, I pray to God, I want to have a baby 2020. 2021 as well, the ultrasound said. Anywho, go up to the 31st in a little go. Contraction, them contraction, go and come. And the 31st now, the womb. But they never the home actually. When they come in, they actually tell them, so I feel for some food. So I ask me, what may I go cook? So I say, I feel for rice and my feel from morning. So shelly rice. No, if you are number one dish, rice and my feel. That's your feel for our number one dish. Pregnancy dish, guys. Anyhow, we didn't want the rice really chilly and the mackerel pepper is in the way go. They didn't know when I cook the food. By the time I done cook the food, I'm going to share the food now. And a piece of pain licked me. I couldn't even bother share the food. We just wheel and still in the city at the same time. Oh, friends, so it's very so dramatic. And he asked me what happened to me. He actually tell me, say, I tell me, say, you know, so hot. As if you were feeling what me I feel. So, him go shape and finish here food now that the pain wear off and me hit my food, it off enough to him. And him, we did the talk, talk, so till him get up out of the living room and go lie down. Me get up, I feel like I want to go back to him. So, I go back to him now. Go on the ball, I look for my panty, me see signs. You know, like blood and slime, anyway. Get up and I go in my room and I say, Oh, then, 
I'm ready to go up now because but Friday the morning I start pop my things and start real back in my suitcase, my hospital bag. If you see what I'm missing from one of going, I put it on the bed, it actually come in and ask me what I'm going with this. So I say you soon find out. You must know be fine, she has got with suitcase. I have a small hospital bag. You ever see nobody has got a hospital with suitcase? Yes, actually. I'm it's bad, more convenient to lock up. I'm to me used to. I think you have got a hospital. You're never really there when you have none of your politics in the year, so you don't understand. Anyway, I go into the room and I tell him, I say, Yo, I'm ready. You know? I say, I'm going to lie down. We're ready for you. You don't have a baby yet. I say, I'm not going to have a baby today, but I'm going to go to the hospital today, the 31st, because I'm going to go have a baby the next day. I'm going to go, go and go see him. I'm going to see him. I say, All right. I get up and I go beg my neighbor to call and call my mother and say, Yo, Send up my little sister, come, come babysit, I'm ready to go for hospital. You see the name, I say, right, I you look like he's serious with you. She come, me did it now, I go to bed, sit down, and I wait for her. And him go to bed too, he did wait for my little sister. He had my phone with my auntie call and say, what am you? Because she always a concern, you know, big up herself, auntie Jen. Always concerned. So she said she did work now. What, 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 what me want she to do? I said, I'm alright, ma'am. I just have to some contraction. But you, tomorrow, uh, um, what do you call it? What, what do you call it? The, the first day of the year. New Year's Day. Yeah, New Year's Day, day man. Go for hospital or things that go out for you. Anyway, me, I said, I'll go in from today. Come here with us, signs and wonders, signs and wonders. And uh, my, my sister come, when my sister come, now we ready to go there. I actually have to stop in a crossroad to get my hospital record, my doctor's record, the file. We bring in a doctor, we bring in at the hospital with me because we don't really go to the public clinic. Um, the COVID thing and all, but it kind of scared. So I said, I should go private doctor. It was his idea, so I go private doctor. But they have a file which was them document things. So I forget that to bring to the hospital when I go in. Anyhow, I go up there, I have to climb up about 18 steps, 18 steps to go up there in the pain. I reach up there, I think of it as good exercise. Um, yeah, because the pain send me up on the pain, bring me back down. I do it because I could have said enough eating. But I say, no, you make the baby come faster. Anyway, I go up there, I get my thing, I come down back with him to the hospital. I reach up there, I reach up there from our, our after four in the evening. Four to five. After four. Something like that. Go in, him, them couldn't come in or anything because I put the call and what they do up here and whatever. So, been there from after four in the evening, so till after ten in the night. I know I'm gonna get there. After ten, doctor not see me, nurse and check me, and nothing yet. See them there in a pain, go and come, go and come, go and come. He might call me every minute to ask me. So you know, see that tired, you don't know, cousin, cousin. You see, whether you're cousin or not, me still I go still on yourself. So my tell you, let's just relax. We sit on the day after twelve, me get one bed in the night. Come back, doctor, come for me for come come check me. When them come check, they say me they are five centimeter. You see, all right. By twelve o'clock tonight, man. No, which ready? You have to go ten. By 12 o'clock, I say, I check the time, I say, by 12 o'clock, we um, will go on a delivery uh, from after 12 now we have the baby, so on New Year's, it's going to actually be New Year's Day. Yes, then now I get the bed and I go around and I lie down and I come up me down under the sheet, come around, nobody see me in a pain. I'm not really loud and expressive when I'm in a labor or when I when me feel pain and none of that. So I cover up my head and my baby and I cry and I pray, pain and lick. 
Basta noon, Dr. Kuman say, they need to put you on access in the annual IV access. When we go around, you know, and she said she will check me again. When she checked me again, she said, I'm still there. Anyway, I'm still there. 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 But it's the only thing I can remember after I sit down in the chair to put in the access when the, the doctor man tied the thing on my hand. That's all I can remember. When I wake up, I wake up in the labor room. When I actually come to, I wake up in the labor room. Yes. And the doctor, the doctor did a slap my face and I said, wake up this phone, I wake up. And I say slap of face, man. I say slap of face. <laughs> you know? I say slap. I say you slap of face. Don't eat, leave that boy. He actually just slapped me hard. And I say, wake up, wake up, come back to it, come back to it, where I go. Um, him like him, I put up and say, how much finger this me have? How much finger? So I could have make it like me a see, but me a see blurry like. So I tell him three and four. Me not me the confused. Never really know what, <laughs> how much finger I'm sure. Anyhow. Yeah, yeah, like them I say, um, if she come back to now, we have to go put on some, some more pain for her, make she have the baby quicker. If she not have the baby quick enough, we have to go, if she have one next one, we have to go bring her up at the theatre. Mm -hmm. The day I, mean, I wonder to myself, what am I talking about? Go have one next one. So, when the nurse come to me now and say, Miss Swala, you wake up now? I try to respond to her, I say yes. She said, you, you, um, you know what happened to you? I said, no. She said, why well, you remember last? I said, I remember when the doctor I put the thing around my hand. He said, you don't remember nothing more. I said, no. He said, well, you almost died on us. You had um, quite a few seizures. I was like, really? What am I talking about? She said, well, you actually had about four seizures. You sure you're all right? You have any egg yolks? You have this, you have that. My egg did actually feel like it's swollen at the time. And them say, them are going to give me um, one, one drip the pain to see if the baby can come faster because it seems like something like Trigger off something and other. I can't remember the exact words you know, they use. And they need to um, get the baby out fast before we have an seizure because the baby life threatened now and mine. So, them put one drip. They give me some injection actually. Me know what they might inject me for. MC have to start the seizure after a while MC have to start the seizure then she gave me the drips she said this is going to put on more pain so the baby can come faster so while I did the man then put on the drip the drip that this is what they have to stay on my life no one dead and I can't be he said I did the man and I said father what is no man what is this yeah, you really got to have baby and I can't walk You don't know, understand. You got baby and come on, man. Mm -mm. I, I thought that was it. I remember me have two picking already. I thought that was it. I thought it would be that. I never know what say. Mother am going to go to seizure and all of this thing. Anyhow, I was there, there, there and Pain, pain, pain. About half an hour after, we start. The, the nurse actually pushed her on again. I said, but it's still there five centimeters. The baby not coming. Them have some sitting and monitor my heart and the baby sit the baby as well. Them say, the baby now passed five centimeters. When she check and check and check again, have her hand check and check and check. She said, when last I go to the toilet? I was like, what do you mean? She said, when last you passed to? She said, about three weeks now. She said, what? So yes, 
because we have this problem this constipation problem and uh, she say well it's normal for pregnant woman but we say not really necessary when we're pregnant but right through my life from a know myself little bit till now I have that problem so she said this the baby head she called doctor doctor come and push on again and she said them say the baby head jam passes or something they have to actually get it out them do what them do and it come out and by the time it them done clean up there goes the baby head mm -hmm. Baby, calm down. Look, actually, no, you're a gift. <laughs> like, actually, feel like my heart did I go stop, so she starts slap my face again and say, Wake up, wake no, up. No, you're a gift. Wake up. So, no, wake no, up. No, she said, She take me on and she put me in there and she said, Feel the baby head. Don't give up on me now, Miss Wallace. Don't give up on me. Feel the baby head. When I feel, I feel the hair from the baby head. So, I'm going to now and push again. She said, no, no, push like that. Yeah, we push harder. So I said, when the pain come again. Push, in, push. When the pain come again, I go push. And she said, I promise me, so I cross my heart now. She said, you carry the baby come this far and you come make the baby suffocate right there. So and then, and she, she, she said that. I get a piece of strength. <clears throat> And I'll push one push me push her. She has to stop one and then one and then the baby just jump up on the bed. The baby come up on the bed and here she ball out and me just give up. Me just me, me, me care. There was nothing else left in me. Feel like me done. Me just jump on the bed like I eat that. Then do the thing, do the thing. She said, Look how me tell her to stop. Are you making all of your tear up now from inside out? Anyhow. Come, the baby come out now and time for the blessing to come out. And the ladies out there which part, and the mothers out there which part know I feel like when they actually I get the blessing to all time. Or them push their animal belly and do what they do. She do that and she push and it come out. And then she'll go back to make sure I say nothing left. The same time she push and she push and she push. There was this big elever clot clot blood come out of me. They have to, she has to run and call the other nurse and doctor them. When they wait, they weigh almost three pounds. During the pregnancy, I could have hardly breathe. Each time I go on my private doctor and tell me say it's all because of the pregnancy. I can't sleep, I am afraid to go to sleep because I feel like I'm not dead. Mm. I set up, I actually have a settee in my, in my room. I actually sit up in another settee there every single night just to sleep. So there goes and there, she said, This is the reason why. <laughs> this is the reason why you could hardly breathe. Guys, it's not an easy road. And the men out there who are disrespect them baby mother or disrespect them mother. She really is good. And disrespect them mother, guys, you know worth it. That's why every man needs to cheat a woman like a lady. You yeah, guys. Yeah. That's what I have to say. So all you do you treat me like a lady? I'm not cheating like a queen, mommy. So, ladies, queen. everybody have them different feelings, or them different way of going through labor and delivery. But it was rough, and I don't think I want to have another child. We have three now, and if that's not good enough, two more. No. This me, me, that I swap me. One handful. Body parts. Yeah. No one pull on here. And guys, if you have any more, if you have any question, you can um send it down in the comment. Like put a question in there. Like a Q and A, like you know what I.
and we will answer them in another video so thanks for watching my story and yeah thanks guys yeah and also i want to say thanks once more again for the support you know this far guys. this thanks far yeah really appreciate it guys okay so just continue show us your support yeah i remember it's your boy odin and your girl sammy, sammy. i remember to like share comment and if you haven't subscribed as yet please go ahead and do so okay and look out for more videos from us and yeah. as you say um in camera now really work so well you see the, the diamond camera on it the underwater camera so i'm already going to put up any underwater um videos for now but but what yeah that's it coming back to you with more underwater videos soon as possible and if you guys if anybody out there wish to um donate anything towards in getting a new camera or a better one um i, I would really it. appreciate it guys god as i say i really want to show you guys you know the beauty of the ocean you know natural yeah more clearer with with quality you know some nice content yeah yes car remember we have the talent you know yeah man we have the talent to go to depth under the water we just want a better camera you know so as i say no respect love hey guys